Hey guys, it's Saturday, super early in the morning. <clears throat> it's still like way dark outside. <laughs> <clears throat> but I want to get my first coat on this piece before I go to work. And I want to show you what it looks like right now with a dog toy underneath it. I'll light up dog toy. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I found this piece at my ARC thrift store. It was $16.99. I was like, okay, I can't pass it up. These are kind of unusual. This is kind of unusual to me. This actually, I don't know, kind of looks like it could be homemade. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, somebody tried to paint it. it. I can't tell if it's latex or chalk paint, but... Um, I'm going to paint right over it, and I am going to use the original Tarnished Pearl. Let's uh, take a quick look, because this is the one that's more like a cake batter. <clears throat> and then I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to bring in some cowgirl coral but I'm thinking maybe because I'm going with that transfer right there and these two colors look nice so we'll see so <clears throat> here I go I'll show you once I get it with the base coat of tarnished pearl took me mm, maybe 30 minutes painted it all um, with the brush a Wooster brush not a foam brush, a regular brush. And <clears throat> this is my first coat. I think it covered really well. Um, on the, the, the long parts down there at the bottom and here at the top, it, you can see that it definitely needs another coat. Um, but I was painting over that uh, kind of light mint teal sort of color. Um, <clears throat> so I have to go to Walmart. I'm going to go to Walmart and let that dry. It's still dark outside, but by the time I get dressed and stuff, it'll be seven. Um, <clears throat> so I'll be gone about an hour, let this dry, and then I'll come back and do another coat. Sorry that right now, this video, I don't have the best lighting, um, but I did get my second coat on. I let it dry all day. I came and did a... Uh, Orbital sander, and I did some distressing. And now I'm going to start applying my transfers. And first thing I'm gonna do is lay them out and see how they're gonna look. Okay, so I have this large flower cluster that I'm going to put down here at the bottom. And then I cut out a bunch of the other pieces. And what, I, what I'm imagining is some of them being on top and then rolling over onto this part here. I do have some pieces like this that I intend to put on the front. I also have some other pieces that I'm going to utilize all the way across the front here. And then I have another piece, this one, that I'm also going to layer partially on the top and then down the front. So, I'm gonna get them stuck on there and I'll be back. Okay guys, no lie. <laughs> I totally forgot to film putting on the transfers, but I am so
so tickled with this. Um, I need to do two coats of Sweet Pickens top coat. And I am, oh, I am so, so loving this. I mean, not for me, okay? I totally love to create things that I think are beautiful and I love, but aren't necessarily my style for my house, but I still think it's beautiful. So I hope you like it too. I'll show you one more time. Um, I'm going to try to stage it after I get the top coat on and uh, do a final video.